So Alec, with a range of over 30 different products, it really helps us provide the customer with a complete solution. But where to start if you've not used our products before and you don't know where to look? Yeah, it's, it's a great point, David. Um, you know, with so much choice out there, uh, different product types, different technologies, each has its own strengths and weaknesses. You know, where do you start? That's a um, very, very valid question. Um, you know, of course, Hepco's core product, uh, the thing we manufacture the most here and the customers, are, we find our customers choose the most, the V-Guide system, V-Guide technology, you know, it really excels when it's, it's sort of high speed, long lengths, uh, dirty conditions. Um, you've got wider options for sort of higher moment loads, that sort of thing. Um, and, you know, you've got to consider the application. Where, where are you putting it in? If it's, if it's wet, if it's a food application, then, you know, you need to be looking at a stainless steel option. So something like our, our SL2 range. Mm. Um, so there, there are lots of things to consider. It's, you know, very easy to install. Um, but, you know, there are, there are other elements. You know, if you've got shock loading, then maybe a V system with a point contact isn't the best way to go. Uh, and, you know, we really look at the sort of the merits and the strengths of our V-Guide system in a, in a sort of later section that we'll be covering. Um, but, you know, you've got component-based solutions, sort of dual V, if you want to spread the rails further apart, they can be easily mounted onto a, a square corner. Um, it gives you sort of greater design flexibility. Mm. Um, and, of course, uh, so many different types of requirements um, across a, a range of, of, of and complexity of industries. Envelope restrictions may require a system where the V-bearings are actually mounted inside of the track rather than outside of the track, uh, lessening the width, um, much more suitable to, to refined envelopes. Um, and of course, beyond that, we have heavy duty options for the very heavy, for if you're looking about with uh, tons of payload rather than maybe kilograms where the flagship GV3 normally is well suited. Then you have to decide how to drive that. And we can off also offer the driven options, as I said, to provide the customer much more of a one-stop solution. Yeah, so, and of course, we're not all about V-Guide technology. Uh, you know, you've got sort of plane bearing technologies, which I mentioned about uh, shock loading earlier. You know, an impact load in a plane bearing, it's spread across a large surface area. So, you know, that, that, that's good for that area. Again, sort of recirculating technology such as ball bushings uh, and ball guides, very good in terms of the low capacity, better at dealing with shock. However, they are less compliant. The rails need to be set up to a tighter tolerance. Uh, so, you know, you've re really got sort of um, strengths and weaknesses, like I said, with all of these different technologies. Um, but of course, you know, we're not all about going in straight lines. We, we can also go round and round. So, you know, you've got things like our, our ring of track system, which again, we'll be looking at later. Um, and it really gives you the opportunity to, to not just move uh, backwards and reciprocating, but go, go round and round, continuous motion, which can save you um, time in your process and ultimately saves you money, makes you more productive. Good point, Alec. Then we come to driven options. Uh, some people may just prefer component parts, such as the extensive number of uh, types within our GV3 range, or maybe something more off the shelf, driven, more uh, plug and go. And we can provide that. We can provide assembled systems, be it straight lines, driven track systems, which we're gonna come on today. Essentially, we can offer exactly what the customer is looking for. Uh, and the, the flexibility within our range is what we're trying to emphasize here.